Sometimes it feels like you're just working and working and pumping out content on your site and nothing is happening. You know, you're crafting these awesome articles and you have all these great tips to share with people, but nobody end up on your site and that can be a really frustrating place to be. In this video, I lay out some of the main reasons why articles are typically not ranking in Google. So you can sort of use it like a checklist to see if any of these things are true for your website. I remember when I started out some of my first sites and I would just sit there and wait for months without anything happening on my site. So I'm going to show you here in the video that I linked to up here exactly how long time it takes for a new website to rank. And that's in case you wrote on articles that you can actually rank for. But I'm going to explain all of that to you in this other video, so check that out if you want to see it. I show you exactly how long time it takes across three new sites that I started over the last year or two. That might be the first reason why your articles are not ranking simply because they are not old enough. They haven't had time to rank in Google. The next reason why many articles are not ranking in Google is because they cannot beat the competition. So you always need to do the search queries that should trigger your articles before you start writing and see if your website is up for the competition. Check out number one, two and three in Google and check the word count and check how big those sites are. If it's anything you can beat, you know. For the first couple of articles on your site, it's really important to go for really, really low competition stuff where you can rank a new site. You need to go for what we call underserved topics. Now I have a video up here where I show you exactly how I find these first topics so you can rank a new site without any backlinking. And just before we move on to all the other reasons, subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing here. I put out new videos like this every week and I'd love to have you a part of my community here. So hit the little bell and the little subscribe button. Another reason can be a bad site structure. So if Google is not able to get through all your pages through your links in your menu and from the front page and so on, it might not be able to even find your content. So it's important to make all the content on your site clickable within a few clicks from the menu or at least from the front page. So if you're using a standard WordPress setup, this is easy because you'll just sort all your articles into categories and place a link in the menu to each category. And then Google can go to the menu, find each category, and then from the bottom there, find a link to all the next pages. And a little tip here, let's say you have a category with around 100 blog posts. And now you have these archive pages that are maybe showing 10 blog posts per page. Then you will have created 10 archive pages. Make sure that Google can easily get to number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 from the links at the bottom. Some WordPress themes will only show a link to the previous and the next page. That means you, that Google can only find the surrounding pages and not the next pages out there. So instead you should use these links where you can get to number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 down there. That means that Google will be able to find all the archive pages as soon as they have crawled the first one. And that's a great way to make sure that Google finds all your content so it actually has a chance to rank in Google. And also be a little careful when you're using pages in WordPress. You know, whenever you're working with blog posts, they will be put inside these category pages. So there will be a link to all those. But if you're using pages, they're not necessarily linked to from anywhere unless you place a link to them. So make sure to place some navigational links at the bottom, maybe in a menu or somewhere else if you have a lot of content pages that are built on pages and not posts. Just make sure that everything is clickable within a few clicks from the front page or a header or footer menu so Google can easily find everything. Another thing that can keep your articles from ranking in Google is if you're getting a little too clever with the titles of the articles. If you're promising a bit too much in those titles and people end up on your site and they're not finding what they're looking for, you're not sort of matching the intent behind the search. You might find that many people will bounce right away when they land on your site. They'll just see your site and be out of there, you know, and that's definitely a bad sign in Google. So make sure that doesn't happen to you. Don't get too clickbaity with the titles. Make sure you can deliver on everything you promise in that title and also play some of that very best content toward the top to make sure that people don't bounce off immediately because it's a bad sign that might derank your site because Google sees it as bad content. Another reason why your website is not showing up in Google may be because Google haven't even found the content yet. If you're using a .com domain, which you should, Google will eventually at least find the front page. So if everything is clickable from there, you'll be good to go at least in the long run. But for a new website, many times Google will not find these new articles before it has been several weeks. So you need to ping Google here and you need to go into Search Console and tell Google exactly which URLs you're putting on the site. 
because that will enable Google to find your content quickly and put that in the search results. So you need to let Google know inside Search Console when you put out new content for a new site. There's been some major glitches inside Google Search Console where the content has been falling in and out of the search result page. So in order to avoid that, you need to ping them when you put out new content. Your site can also disappear in Google if you've gotten hacked. Let's say there's some malware on your site or some really bad articles that have been injected into your site by a hacker. It can be really hard to detect and know if this happened. So two ways you can go about this. Go into Search Console and see if you suddenly got a lot of weird links pointing to URLs that you never really put on your site. Because what typically happens is that these hackers will inject articles about Viagra or casinos or whatever quick loans, something with a very, very high affiliate commission. And they will place those articles on your site in order to rank to themselves and get better rankings for some scam site out there. So these articles will typically get a lot of links from other scammy sites. So long story short, just look for really weird links to your site inside Google Search Console and see if you can point these to pages on your site that shouldn't be there. And also if you want to locate these pages that may or may not be there to sort of do a check if this is the case, you can also do this site colon domain.com search to see exactly what Google has indexed on your site. If there's anything that looks totally weird and articles that you didn't put up there, make sure to contact somebody who knows about this stuff, a good programmer who knows how to clean up a site. You can also contact the people over with WordFence. I know they're pretty good at cleaning up this stuff. Again here you should also turn to Search Console if you suspect this is the case, because Google will show you inside Search Console if your site is getting penalized, if there's some manual actions taken on your site from Google's site. I have a video up here where I show you exactly how to do that and a lot of other really cool thing inside Google Search Console, like using your own data to find great topics to write on where you will get a lot of traffic. It's some unique data sitting there, so check out that video as well. Your content may also not make it into Google because there's some duplicate content. So that means that an article in your site is also appearing elsewhere. That can be on your own site. Let's say you have an article sitting five different places on your own site with different URLs and the same content. It can also be other websites who grab this article and place them on their site. So make absolutely sure that you never place the same content across different URLs. If you want to do that anyway, or if you want somebody else to feature the same article that you have sitting on your site, you can use what is called a canonical tag. Just Google it, you'll figure out what it is. But for most bloggers, that's not necessary. Just do your best to never place the same content across different URLs, because that will get your site deranked in Google pretty quickly. Another reason Google may give you a thumbs down for your content and hide you down on page 50 or 100 in the search result page is if you're using shady SEO tactics like keyword stuffing or link building. So let's talk about keyword stuffing here. Let's say you really, really want to rank for this keyword or this phrase, then sometimes you'll find a lot of content online where people tell you to just repeat that sentence or that word all through the article. Or maybe you hired a writer who did this, you know, because they didn't know any better. So you need to check for that. You can use this extension called SEO Quake. That will show you the number of words on the URL and it will also show you exactly how many times each word appeared on that page. Just check some of your good natural articles and see where these numbers should be. You'll quickly get a good feel for this. And see if you find any outliers. If you find one keyword to just be repeated constantly through an article, make sure to fix that because Google hate that and they'll see it as an attempt to cheat them all your way to the number one position and instead they're going to send you to page number 10 or 50. So the other thing I just briefly touched upon here is bad links pointing to your site. This can actually be an attack from somebody else who wants to hurt you, but that's rarely the case. In my 13 years of being an SEO consultant, I've been contacted by many people who thought somebody was attacking them with bad links, you know, just sending spam links to their site to derank them. A few times it was the case, but in most cases, these links pointing to their site was just scraped content and bots, you know, finding their content and spinning it into articles where they would link to a picture or something like that. And that's totally natural. If you want to see what a really clean website looks like in terms of SEO, when you didn't do any active link building or any shady stuff, check out the card that I linked to up here. I'm showing you an example of a website where I didn't do any active link building. And the website has gotten a ton of traffic. I think it's sitting around 70,000 page views right now. Check that out because you'll be able to see 
what a clean link profile, so to speak, looks like when there's no shady links. That'll give you a better idea when you want to check if your site has gotten attacked by negative SEO. But also, if you have gotten a little too clever with an aggressive link building strategy, that may also cause your site to rank on page 50 or even get out of the Google search index altogether. So, you know, I don't do any link building because I don't want to risk it. I don't want to have any risk that my site will get deranked in Google anytime soon because I put so much work into these sites. Another reason why your website may not show as high in the search results as you want it to can be due to slow page load times. Let's say your website is loading in 10 seconds and all the other pages in your industry are loading in two seconds. That will place you below them in many cases. Google is constantly bugging you inside Google Analytics and also in Google Search Console if your website is too slow. So since Google has taken their time to place these reports two places, they really want our attention on this matter. It's important to get the page speed fast and it's not that hard really. You just need a good caching plugin and you need to make sure that your images are not too heavy. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I have a lot of this stuff coming out and I teach you how to do practical SEO and how to make more money with your blog. And give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time.